Sulfur is the 16th element on the periodic table. It is right beneath oxygen, which makes it pretty reactive, although not as reactive as oxygen. It exists um, in nature as rings of eight sulfur atoms, unlike oxygen, which typically exists as a single molecule of two oxygen atoms. It is also yellow, uh, typically, in nature. There, there you see some in this crucible. And it's kind of a, a fine, fine uh, powdery substance. You can kind of move it around. It's just nice and powdery. I'm now going to make some zinc sulfide by um, reacting elemental zinc and elemental sulfur. I am now mixing the two chemicals, and I'll get back to you when they're thoroughly mixed. I will now ignite my propane torch. One of sulfur's main acids is sulfuric acid, and one interesting property of sulfuric acid is that it is a dehydrator. So let's see if we can suck the water right out of this sugar that's in this crucible. Okay, so there's the sugar in this crucible, and let's see if the uh, sulfuric acid, which is a dehydrating acid, can suck the water right out of the sugar and make carbon. So you'll see the sulfuric acid when I pour it. It's just a clear substance. And the reaction usually starts pretty slowly. And you can start to see a solid mass rising up above the solution. Once this reaction gets going, it's quite exothermic, so I'll be able to stop heating it. Okay, and I can stop heating it now. And it'll just go on its own. It's off gassing, and you can really, really distinctly smell the smell of burnt sugar now.